Hi there, and welcome to another episode in the exciting series of telephone integration on the open internet. My name is Perry Graham, and I'm from OzoneTech.com. Today I'm going to show you some connections with Astra phones, such that uh, we never have to type phone numbers again, or uh, misdial, or look them up. Uh, the tools I'm going to use today are designed just to take the information you already have in your machine and start your phone dialing. Uh, there are also tools for inbound calls work just as well, uh, and that's uh, what we're going to show here here today. Uh, what I have uh, in this demo today is an Astra 6757i hard phone, which I will show you in a moment. Um, and Ingenious uh, is the name of the software company, Astra Connector, which uh, provides a connection between my PC and the hard phone itself. Um, they also have an Ingenious Tappy driver, which Tappy enables my uh, connector and behind all, it all are some baby towel SIP trunks. I also have a soft phone which will uh, send and receive calls um, to show what's going on. And uh, let's get right into it. So so this is my desk. This is my Astra phone that I like very much. I apologize for the glare that you might see. It's difficult to pick that up but you can see it is a SIP phone, power over Ethernet, connected to nothing but the internet through my firewall. It works. Life is good. The PC and my daughter when she was two. Let's look at this stuff in action. So here is the software I'm going to be showing today. It's the Astra connector from Ingenious Software. It works with uh, Windows PCs to connect the PC and the components within the PC to Astra phones and Astra PBXs. There are options for CRM integration uh, with most major CRM to, uh, software pieces as well as uh, TAPI integration which I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. Uh, on this other tab here I have the configuration for my Astra phone itself. Uh, here is the, I'm using DHCP but I can also use DNS names um, and I'll take a look at that in a moment. The here are my SIP parameters. This is my phone number. I've had this phone number for 25 years, but I've ported it to Babytel. And now I'm connecting with my Astra phone over a SIP trunk. Uh, down at the bottom here is the toolbar for the software package itself. And we'll take a look at the settings there in more detail. So a couple other things to check out before we get started. First of all, let's take a look at the uh, control panel uh, under phone and modem settings. Uh, advanced, there's the ingenious telephony service provider. This piece of software, no configuration to it, it's just installed. Its sole responsibility is to communicate with this piece of software, which communicates with my phone. So the two work hand in hand such that any TAPI enabled application can dial my phone. So uh, we can take a look at that in action now. So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you what I have here on the left-hand side is a soft phone, also configured with a SIP trunk, and with a 514 area code connected to my favorite service provider, Babytel, over SIP trunks. Again, uh, no, hard, no hardware, no software, no phone lines, strictly SIP. In Outlook, I have created a contact called Fred Flintstone with the same phone number. Now, Outlook being a TAPI enabled application, I should be able to dial. So I right click on this, call that number, take a look at the dialing options, which I only have to check once, is connect using the Astra connector, which is exactly what I want to do, and I start the call. Call goes out on my hard phone, comes in on my cell phone. I'm going to end that call. And that's all there is to it. The Now I don't ever have to remember any phone numbers. I can dial directly from a ta any TAPI enabled application. And I'll show you some other interesting things as well. Down here, if I actually type Fred Flintstone, this is the TAPI interface again. The software is going to look around in my contacts. It says, oh, you have a contact named Fred Flintstone. Do you want to call that one? Certainly do. Again, call comes in. So I can hang that up. And 
and nine edges of the curl. So curl's coming in all over the place, but you get the idea of how that works with those two pieces of information. So another tappy enabled application that comes free with Windows is the phone dialer, and I can configure it to use my tappy interface, which I have done here. I only have to do that once. There's my Astra connector. And now I can type in a phone number and call it out using my phone. Um, so I set up Fred as a speed dial, and I click that, and away it goes. Uh, hang that up. Notice down here, it may be hard to see, but uh, you can see the outgoing call is actually 1514. That's because I've configured my Astra connector to use my Windows dialing properties, which tells it that I'm actually in 416. So if you want to dial 1514, you better put a 1 in front of it. Now, the key thing about this is that uh, the phone dialer is actually a callable program. I can write Visual Basic code or other code to interface with it. And, and that's what I've done here in my Microsoft Access Contact Management database. I've wrote a very simple function that when I pass it a dial string, it calls the phone dial. So let's take a look at that here. I have my contact Fred Flintstone, and I've, there's his phone number. And I've set up this, so all I do is call his work number, and it brings up the auto dialer, and phone start ringing. So now I have Tappy enabled my contact managed database. I can anything that I can write code for, I can do the same thing with. There's almost no limit to what I can do with that little piece of phone dialer software and this little piece of Tappy integration software. So the last thing I wanted to show you was the powerful search capabilities of this piece of software. Um, and not only can it dial any number I type here, it can dial from my Outlook contacts, I can dial from LDAP, but it, I can also do some Google search. So I am going to type in uh, Canadian Tire, and there is Canadian Tire. I happen to know that's the right number. I'm now dialing. So the search capabilities are, are excellent. I'm not having to type any phone numbers. I don't have to look up any phone numbers. I just pick and choose and go. So that's it. You can see the benefits of having this integration with my actual phone and my actual phone being a SIP enabled phone open across the internet is also a very beneficial. Um, I don't have to remember any numbers. I can dial from Outlook. I can dial from any of my Tappy enabled applications. I can Tappy enable an application using VBA or any other tools that I like. Um, I have one number, multiple numbers, many connections, and many ways to connect to each number. Um, as a side note, I've been dialing between 514 and 416 area codes here this afternoon. Yet uh, I pay no long distance. Those are all Babytel accounts, so they're free calls between Babytel accounts. And even if they were not, I play a fat, flat, uh, low rate per, per conversation per minute. Um, lastly, there are tools that, uh, uh, that come with the Tappy integration software from uh, Ingenious that I work directly with Salesforce and most other mainstream CRMs. Um, so you can dial right from your uh, whatever CRM you are using. And uh, away you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, lastly, to talk, talk to me about uh, any of these things you've seen here, please give me a call, see my website, send me an email, and I'll be happy to uh, help you out. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.